Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be talking about a theory slash explaining what I think is going on with mon and Superman. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So if you guys remember all the way back to Season 1, we got a look inside the Fortress of Solitude, and it's been repeated a few times, I think in Season 2 as well, that there is a Legion flight range or an iteration of the Legion flight ring inside the Fortress of Solitude owned by Superman. So the question is, how the hell is that there and why is it a different design? So lots of you guys have been asking about that, so I thought I would make a video on it. So my explanation as to what I actually think is going on in this instance is that Superman, in Season 2, when he met mon -El, mon -El had actually never met him by that point, but Superman has met him, and that's why the interaction between Superman and mon -El was kind of a little bit off. I feel like maybe they were setting that up because they knew that they were going to try and push forward with this Legion of Superheroes storyline for mon -El. And when he returned in season three, obviously they would have a version of the Legion of Superheroes. So I think what actually has gone on in the past in Superman's case and in the future in mon -El's case is basically that the Legion of Superheroes has either gone back in time like they do in the comics or potentially Superman has gone to the future or somehow he's magically ended up in the future, maybe a bit like mon -El, but. The perfect explanation as to why Kara hasn't noticed that Superman hasn't gone off at one point and he's just disappeared off the radar is due to the fact that we are talking about time travel here and you can literally just plonk him back at the same time as to where he left or maybe a few days after. And I feel like that is what actually happened and he went to the future, he fought with the Legion of Superheroes for however long during the start of the Legion of Superheroes and maybe Superman was that symbol of hope that they needed and maybe he helped them out for a brief period of time and he got his Legion flight ring and it's a different design due to the fact that it is probably the first design that mon -El came up with for the Legion Fight Ring, so probably the first iteration. That is my theory. Obviously, it could be a later iteration, maybe whilst mon -El is not there, and maybe that's why Superman doesn't really technically recognize him in Season 2. We are unsure as to if he actually recognized him or not. Either way, he's either pretending or he's never met mon -El before. And maybe Superman was transported to the future past when mon -El actually left, and so this is when, say, Imra is the leader while mon -El is back in the past with Kara and Team Supergirl in the past in present day in Season 3, and I think they could explain that, and so you could flip my theory on its head and just say it's in the future past Season 3 mon -El and where he stayed 7 years in the future, it's actually, say, eight or nine years in the future as to where Superman actually traveled to. So sorry if this video is a tiny bit confusing, time travel is a very confusing aspect when it comes to the DC TV shows, so I recommend you probably re-watch the video if you didn't get the hang of it by now. But basically to wrap it up, what I think happened was Superman did help out the Legion of Superheroes for however long he did, and he got a version of the Legion flight ring that's different, and that's not a plot hole. I think it's just a different design that was either at the start of mon -El's reign at the Legion of Superheroes when he first created it, or it's subsequently after where mon -El has actually stayed back in the past in Season 3, and it's sometime in the future past where mon -El was and when Imra is back in the future. So if you did enjoy this video and if this did help you out, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any Supergirl videos, considering that there has been a distinct lack of Supergirl news. So I'm going to be doing videos once every maybe two days or so and I'll try and do my best to keep it up because I know you guys really like the Supergirl videos. So anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. Sharp green